Cool. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I wanted to get in touch with all of y'all because I am working on a project with the permissions. Some of you may have already seen the work uh, that I've been doing. Uh, a couple of y'all have already um, provided feedback, so that's great. Um, let's start with this real quick. So just a brief overview in case you're not familiar. Um, I've been working with uh, Amelia and Andy on um, redoing the entire permissions architecture in the platform based off of the idea that we're gonna make um, customizable permissions. And so Amelia had gone through and uh, the first round of organizing the permissions based off of what they have here in our documentation uh, on this table here. So, you know, analytics would be grouped as one, and then we would try and find out where does clusters be gone, uh, be gone to, what is a uh, uh, container registry, et cetera. So that was the first pass at it. Um, after we had started looking at some of this, um, we under we started seeing a problem where, uh, as an example, where if I were to look at a individual permission called view project code, and I was to disable this permission, if we were not looking at what it links to, we just look at this table, it was like, well, individually it doesn't do anything, but logically in the platform, it would turn off all of these other permissions without noticing. So what I've done is I've gone through and mapped all of the permissions uh, to try and see if I can find um, these sorts of mappings. And tied to this issue specifically, the devs are looking at consolidating this permission to view pipeline and view pipeline details. So that instead of it being two permissions, it's just one, um, kind of like consolidating line items here in this table or the same thing here. The idea is that if we're gonna move forward with um, having a prototype where uh, an admin can go and toggle individual features, if we try and minimize this complexity, um, that can help on the back end with um, the problem that they describe here that um, they would have, uh, there wouldn't be a need for overlapping or redundant permissions. So in the case of here, they have the same access level. Um, we wouldn't be um, uh, less confusion here. And then uh, it would make things easier um, to undo or to make uh, changes within the, the the code base without being so catastrophic to where it's like if you allow something um, that they shouldn't have access to, they wouldn't necessarily cause any sort of ne negative impact in the in that sort of permission if you were to enable that permission, right? So the reason I need y'all to to sync with me today is to kind of go over this. Um, uh, Vitika and Gina have already kind of looked at this a bit, um, and I think it's more or less okay. But I just wanted to kind of go through um, as part of this work that I'm doing here, where I go through the entire um, permissions architecture and meet with every team that kind of um, has insider impact with this to make sure that I'm thinking of everything in this uh, model, and then also see if there's opportunities to merge or group things that don't necessarily need to exist individually. Uh, and so with that, I will open the discussion for anyone who wants to kind of jump in and provide feedback. Uh, the first question from me, Daniel, is like, what is the uh, like basis of consolidating? Like, are you thinking of in terms of page access or is it dissociated? The, the primary uh, permission is dissociated from the page access and something, an entity of its own. So the idea would be specifically in this case where view pipeline page and view pipeline details page, the question mm -hmm. presents itself, why are these separate? What is the use case or the job to be done to have them individual independent permissions? Okay. And so if there isn't a real realistic or definitive purpose for them being separate, then can we merge those? 
the benefit is that it reduces the code, uh, the amount of code that we have and reduces things that are it's touching. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of improves the security in that instead of having to watch or monitor two code, uh, code points, you actually are just looking at one. Mm -hmm. and then that sort of logic would apply to the whole uh, project that I'm working on, right? So right. minimizing the code base or reducing it um, in terms of complexity, as well as what sort of improvement that'll present on the front end where an admin doesn't necessarily have to toggle two of these features. He can just toggle one uh, instead of, and excuse me, instead of two, and then make it simpler for them, reducing the UI. Got it. So one thing that I just noticed in the link that I just shared uh, is just a list of permissions which are specific to pipelines on the docs. And while looking at this table, if you see the, we have separated out view pipeline details page, view pipeline page, and view pipeline tab in MR. And when I kind of uh, cross-checked that with uh, the documentation that I have in my personal Excel sheet, the only difference that I see between um, accessing the pipeline list view versus the pipeline tab in merge request is that guests cannot access uh, the pipelines in a merge request. So that's something that I think we should also cross check with the team. If there is a possibility to consolidate that with uh, these two permissions that you just talked about, unless there's a very compelling case of not uh, allowing guests to visit that particular tab in a merge request, but at the same time, be able to look at the pipeline list view. Well, so one thing I guess I should probably clarify is that this change doesn't necessarily have any reflection on guest, reporter, developer, maintainer, owner. The mm -hmm. idea being is that as an admin, I can then customize all of these to offer okay. those individual permissions. So if a guest only had access to one particular permission, I could then enable that they would no longer be a guest. So any sort of restriction that you're seeing by um, a, a non-member or a guest not having access to that doesn't necessarily play into this particular problem, I don't think. Um, okay. Apart from what do they have currently and can I enable or disable that? Um, the idea being that an admin would then give custom feature or custom access to something. Um, the impetus for the project is our permissions are either too permissive or too mm -hmm. restrictive. So if somebody can come in here and say, I want a guest role, but I'm going to also give them permission to run a pipeline and then disable all the other things, that could be possible. Um, okay. But we're looking more so as that um, any sort of problems that might arise by making those changes by if I do allow that, does any sort of security concern arise? Or um, again, going back to the idea of merging stuff, if I merge a particular permission, does that have impact elsewhere? Right. In that case, I think it definitely makes a lot of sense to kind of treat the uh, pipeline tab in merge request the same way as we treat list view. The only thing uh, that I don't think I have the, I have complete knowledge to comment on is uh, how that plays with the access to merge request page. Because eventually like the same pipelines are also going to appear on the pipeline list view. So if somebody is able to view that, then they should also be able to view this. It's just presenting the pipeline list view in a context, in the context of a particular merge request. Yeah, I guess that's also something where I was looking for your um, knowledge is that so as it's grouped so far, we're just looking at the CICD screen, but it doesn't necessarily just stop there, right? So it touches merge requests and you know parts of the repo, right? So right. are there connections there that I'm not linking correctly because they're in these little boxes, right? Should this be a more um, connected prototype or not kind of prototype, but um, connected um, mapping here? Right. So um, I mean, I'm just thinking of this hypothetical scenario that um, is there a possibility that 
I might as a user be given access to view pipelines, but not take part in merge requests. Uh, that's that's possible. That's the, the whole idea of that. If an admin wanted to create that custom role or uh -huh. custom um, policy, then we would offer that ability. And how would that play out if I still have access to like uh, if I if I, if I can still view all the pipelines, uh, mm -hmm. just that not through that particular location, right? And that's exactly where I'm like thinking, okay, what sort of problems does that create? Like, like the one I used here of view project code is like, well, I turn that off, but then everything else below that should turn off as well. Yeah. Uh, so if you don't have access to merge requests, you shouldn't have. <laughs> No, but you, you shouldn't, could, yeah, you yeah. shouldn't have view pipelines tab and MRs, right? That would just automatically be shut off because. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm wondering is that if you would be able to see uh, merge requests or if you don't have merge requests, you wouldn't be able to see pipelines? No, I don't think so. I think the whole merge if 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 I'm not uh, allowed to look at merge requests, uh, then of course I cannot access that page, and um, the tab is anyway not going to be available to me. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that impacts pipelines page by itself, right? That would be a separate permission. Yeah, it's separate. That's what. So I don't I understand. If you if you can't access pipelines though. Can you access jobs? Because I was wondering what the difference between the pipelines list page and the details page is. And I'm wondering if it's because the details shows the jobs within a pipeline. And sometimes um, specific users can't see the jobs because they contain whatever sensitive data. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a question that we should ask uh, back an engineer that if, if there is a, uh, let's say if there's DAST or SAST, like compliance related jobs that are running as a part of the pipeline, are they inheriting the same access as the parent pipeline or can that be controlled? So my assumption was like you'd look here mm -hmm. at the pipelines and then look at the pipeline detail. Or is that, no, this is, this the, is the commit page. Commit, yeah, yeah. of course. And that's the thing is that where is the detail shown? Would that be in the MR? This is the detail. Oh, this here. Detail, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this so would be. Yeah. And the list, you can see like there's a list of jobs down there too, like in its own tab that, and then you could like view jobs. But uh, technically, I guess you could do that from the pipeline mini, the little mini graph. As well, yes. I mean here? Uh, uh, so the page before, yeah. Like the if you go to the list view pipeline, yeah. yeah on here's the yeah. So it's kind of tied. If you're able to view pipelines and view the pipeline details, I mean, just view pipelines. You can also view the jobs and job details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So this sort of all these screens then need to be looked at as a linked uh, linking from all of this, right? It's not just independent tied yeah. back to here. Okay. Right. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm also curious is if you were to disable that, what does it look like? From the UI, it basically just disappears. These these navigation items, I guess. That's how we are handling thing right now. I mean, with just mm -hmm. basic permissions, right? If you just don't have access, nothing will appear, right? Mm -hmm. This tab so, would go away. Yeah. This theoretically would go away. I don't think that goes away. That ever goes away. So anyone interact? who has access to the merge request uh, has access to the pipeline widget. Mm -hmm. There is one restriction that they cannot run a pipeline if the pipeline fails. But I think recently we made a change that uh, if a pipeline fails, uh, 
developers should have access to the run pipeline button, which is inside the pipelines tab. You mean, let's see where it's a pipeline here. Yeah. So yeah, this... the run pipeline button. Hmm. Oh, this at one. At the top. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oddly placed. Okay. Um, that uh, was not available, I think, to non-maintainers. If I'm not wrong, I'll check. Um, and so, if if a pipeline fails for a merge request, any other developer working with that, you probably could not run the pipeline manually. Okay. Well, I mean, so right now, I am not a maintainer on the GitLab project. I don't think yeah, so. And you can see the button. Yeah. Yeah, and I could probably push it, but I don't want to. <laughs> Uh, mm. so, okay, yeah, I don't know if that, you're it, saying that should not be that way. It, uh, we recently made it available for all. I think I'll find the issue. Um, anyway, what I'm thinking is like, let's say if I don't have access to this merge request, would these pipelines not be visible to me on the pipeline list view as well? Because they are there as well. Mm. That doesn't happen today, I think. Right. So that's where I'm curious is that what amount of data would be visual? So like you wouldn't see the MR, but for some reason you could see, you could see uh, the pipelines if for some reason they were turned on, but you just couldn't see this content mm -hmm. and maybe the changes yeah, and the commits. What, what, how would that information help? Like what, what would someone use that just the commits pipelines and changes for an MR for? I'm just wondering if it even makes sense to just show those without the actual MR description and everything. So I think, I, I'm I think let me jump in real quick because I wanted to make sure I, I'm understanding. I think this might just be a bad example where an admin would disable that or, or enable that to allow that sort of flexibility or to to prevent seeing something here. Um, I would look at it more holistically across the platform as like saying, is there something that would negatively impact it? Um, the example we're using, I think, is, is a fair example, but I, it might be like an outlier case, right? I think... Yeah the more relevant example might be, um, I don't want uh, an external contributor to see code, but they can look at the the merge request and um, where's a merge request real quick. It's a think of it like from a matter of security perspective, where it's like, okay, I, I want a contributor, but I don't want them looking at something potentially problematic, right? Mm -hmm. And so disabling pipeline might not be an example that would be valid, um, but it is the one that they're working on, right? Where was that issue? I lost the issue. Uh, oh, here it is, where they wanted to merge these two. Yeah, okay. I think for me that the problem is I'm I'm more afraid of what happens when they go to something that is actually more likely to be played with and disabled. And I think that might be why they're going after this one in particular, because it probably nobody's gonna mess with that, right? Like there's no reason yeah. to disable this. Right. But this would be these two are available for every level, right? Guest has access to this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I think that might have been why they chose it is because it's super low impact. Right. But uh, jobs, uh, access, like permission for jobs are definitely tied to these. So if somebody has access to view pipeline, they can definitely look at the job details and job list. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I think what I want to do next is talk with my engineers and ask them 
what do they see impact wise from that outlying example if somebody did for some reason disable that permission what does that look like in this case because i'm not exactly certain how that works because as you described it won't just be contained to this pipelines page it actually goes all the way back to the merge request and this whole screen am i understanding correct that's correct so uh, uh, like out of the 12 trigger sources for that uh, initiate a pipeline, commit is, I think, one of them. And commit is, again, related to the changes. And uh, like for security purpose, if the changes have to be hidden from someone, what happens to the pipeline permission? Mm -hmm. OK. Mm. One other thing to, to throw in there, it's not fully live yet. It's only enabled for this project, for GitLab project. But if you go to CICD, we also have artifacts now. And that depends on jobs and pipelines. So it's like the way that Vitika was just saying, if, if you don't have access to a pipeline, you don't have access to the jobs, then you also won't have access to the artifacts. Gotcha. It's like a whole tree. Yeah. So I guess that's something that I, I need help with over here is can you uh, help and fix this tree with me to make sure that the links look correct from your perspective? Um, sure. So yeah. I, I think that's my, my ask for the team is that just double check what I have so far and make new links or break links as you see um relevant to your group and then also just you know feel free to note or call out anything that might be weird or problematic and we can talk about it async and like i said i'm also going to pass this through with the devs so they can see um what we're talking about in our concerns okay okay we can do for that the, for runners now that i'm just looking at this is i never even know add Add runners to namespace is an existing permission. Sorry, come again, Gina. I, I think, think so. Let me Did I find it. No, it's only six links. It says add specific runner to project. It's listed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Project will be in namespace. It's limited to owners and maintainers. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to think of all the things. I'm going to think about it a little bit more. Runners are like, the permissions are so complicated. So I'm going to take a closer look into, into that. Cool. So, yeah, this has hopefully been helpful. And I hope... Um, I have explained what I'm trying to do correctly. Um, I guess if y'all have any other feedback um, for the meeting today, I don't want to. I, I don't want to keep you longer than our schedule. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, like I said, um, when you have opportunity, um, please um, add some changes here or links that I'm missing um, that you think should belong here especially like across uh, these sorts of features. Um, I think that's mostly where I'm lacking is where they touch across the platform. There's definitely an overlap with uh, security and compliance and the create features. I mean, that and, and also package, I guess. Yeah, my assumption was there should be a lot more links but that's kind of what I was hoping to have these chats with everyone to see which ones I'm missing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks everyone. I appreciate your time and it was super helpful for me and I'm glad I could catch everyone in the same time slot. I hope I didn't keep anyone up too late or wake anybody up too early. Well, cool. Thanks again. Good to see you all. Have a good day. Thanks, Bye. Bye.